already we have discussed about temperature coefficient of resistance the temperature coefficient of resistance alpha naught determines how the resistance of a material varies with the temperature if i want to know how the chalk piece resistance varies with the temperature I want to find the alpha naught for this chalk piece. That alpha naught is nothing but the temperature coefficient of resistance of this chalk piece. Similarly, every material in this nature has a temperature coefficient. That's what we are representing with alpha naught. That is fixed for that material. Now, even though every material has a temperature coefficient, even though every material's resistance is being affected by the temperature, the effect of the temperature is not same for every material so the resistance of every material is definitely is being affected by the temperature but this effect of temperature it is not same for every material different materials respond differently when the temperature is raised example when we take the conductor or metals we are taking in the metals when we raise the temperature from 0 to T, the resistance rises from R0 to RT. The initial resistance at 0 degree centigrade initial resistance is R0. And when we raise the temperature from 0 to T, the rise in resistance is RT. So this rise you can observe, this is a linear graph. So whenever we are changing the temperature from 0 to T, proportionally, Linearly, the resistance is also being incremented from R0 to RT. So, this metal is exhibiting the positive, temper, positive temperature coefficient. Similarly, when we decrement the temperature, the resistance of metal decreases. So, for example, if we are incrementing, if we are, if we are taking a gold, if you are taking any gold ornament and if you are incrementing the temperature from 30 degrees to 40 degrees centigrade, then definitely resistance increases. That's why the gold ornaments you wear or otherwise the benches, iron benches you are sitting, they do not exhibit the same resistance in the winter and in summer. The resistance that is exhibited by the same metal is different in summer and in different in winter. Maybe that change may be small, but definitely the uh, gold is not exhibiting the same amount of resistance in the winter and in summer. So in which time it is exhibiting more amount of resistance in winter or summer? summer. At summer it is having the more temperature, so gold is exhibiting the more amount of the resistance. In winter temperature is less, so it is exhibiting less amount of resistance. Similarly, if you take that gold ornament to some Antarctica where the temperature may be 0 degree centigrade, at that place the gold is exhibiting, gold has the very minimal amount of resistance. If we take that gold ornament to Thar, Thar Desert or Sahara Desert, at that place that gold ornament may give the very high amount of resistance. So that material, what we are calling as a metal, Resistance is being affected with the temperature because the te when the temperature is incrementing, the resistance is incrementing. So, it is exhibiting the positive temperature coefficient. Why we are calling as a positive temperature coefficient? Because RT final resistance is larger compared to the initial resistance. So, RT is larger compared to R0. So, RT minus R0 is a positive value. So, alpha naught is a positive value. So, metals exhibit the positive temperature coefficient. Now, we are taking some other materials like insulators and semiconductors and electrolytes. If we take the wood, that is an insulator. Silicon, germanium, they are also semiconductors. Now, for these materials, when we are incrementing the temperature from 0 to T, the resistance is being decremented. So, if initial resistance is R0, the final resistance is a decremented value and this decrement is also linear. So, when we change the temperature from 0 to T, in proportionally 
the resistance also is being decremented from rnr to rt so here also it is linearly changing here also it is linearly changing but here it is incrementing here it is decrementing now the final resistance rt minus r not so rt minus r not is a negative value so this alpha not is a negative insulators and semiconductors and electrolytes exhibit the negative temperature coefficient so same wood in winter it offers the very low amount of resistance in summer it offers the high amount of resistance same wood in antarctica it offers the very high amount of resistance in summer it offers the in tar or sahara desert it offers the low amount of resistance compare it to the when it is placed in antarctica okay same silicon chip in mobile we have many silicon processor we have semiconductor processor that processor has 3 crores of transistors so same silicon chip when it is placed in very at low temperature at lower temperatures then it offers very high resistance when it is placed at the higher temperature it offers very low resistance okay so if we increase the temperature it offers the very low amount of resistance that's why it may lead to damage it may lead to conduction that's why our computers whenever we keep in laboratories or some software industries they want to keep all these computers in an environment where air conditioner uh, we are, we see the acs in the uh, software companies okay and one more topic we have to discuss that is alloy alloy is a combination as the name suggests i think you have heard in chemistry in alloys how the temperature is affecting the resistance alloys when we increment the temperature in alloys also resistance is being incremented so alloys also have positive temperature coefficient but this increment is very small alloys increment with respect alloys resistance increment with respect to temperature is very small compared to metals there is no doubt metals have positive temperature coefficient alloys have positive temperature coefficient but the temperature coefficient value of metals is very high compared to the temperature coefficient value of alloys okay so which materials are exhibiting the negative temperature coefficient insulators semiconductors electrolytes which materials are exhibiting the positive temperature coefficient metals alloys in metals and alloys which materials are exhibiting the more positive temperature coefficient what is the symbol what is the letter we use to indicate the temperature coefficient of resistance alpha, alpha not okay alpha not is equal to rt minus r not by r not into t okay where t is the rise in temperature or fall in temperature 